I got into art seriously in high school. Elizabeth Bruno is the art teacher at Jupiter High School. Uh, she took me under her wing growing up and uh, just kept going with it into college. Local art shows, scholarships, grants, just things of that nature. The transitions from the elementaries and middle schools where it, you don't look at yourself as a career choice. But then as you go through getting older through high schools and all that, it was a little more uh, looking into things, what to get into, you know, you start doing charitable work. So there's accolades that, you know, really go along with being an artist that people, you start getting noticed around town or now on social media, it's real important. You know, people start learning who you are and you know, you can do good with your work and helping other people out. You know, I love donating work for certain charities and things like that nature. Once I had a family and all that, it became a necessity to try and market yourself in a more important manner, get serious with it and make it really worth something that people would want to buy. I paint landscapes because here in Florida, it's life, graffiti, uh, impressionism, canoeing, surfing, skateboarding, a little bit of everything. I mean, it's just children playing at the beach, sandbars, all part of our life. As you see here, I'm starting a, a half a painting of our local area, bright blue water, palm trees, you know, just these vast, beautiful landscapes that we have access to uh, through restaurants or parks, beaches, things like that in nature. And uh, so I kind of just want to throw everything together into a, a form that's never really been done before, which is a little bit of abstract, a little bit of graffiti and some uh, regional impressionism. I'm still considering myself in the younger generation of, of artists in this area, so I'm able to bring a little more edgier feel to my artwork. Joe LaPierre was a, a mentor of mine. His daughter, Sarah, is a very popular artist in this area who carries his legacy and style and a uh, really, really successful family. Being an artist in 2016, as a father and a husband, uh, you know, I have a lot of priorities that I have to uh, rearrange constantly to satisfy an art career that has also been with me for 25 years now. So they're loving and supporting and um, it's just a juggle. It comes down to almost a universal language to meet other people and see what other people around the world. It's, it's, it's kind of worldly, I guess you'd say, that, you know, it's, it, there's just no borders. There's, there's nothing, there's no limits, there's really no parameters. So, what, you know, your voice is what you put on canvas or sculpt or take a photo of. This might change in five years, my style might change, but it can be whatever you want it to be. It's your outlet, it's, it's just you. It's, it's your reference of you.